Hey, hi, what's up? Future Soul here really quickly to give you guys a heads up that there are a couple of gameplay spoilers ahead because I forgot that I wanted to do a video on the game and by the time I realized it, I was at the end of the game. So I recorded the last couple of fights, so there is a little bit of spoilers ahead, but you know, the game is about 20 years old, so... <laughs> You know, no surprise there. But anyway, just a warning for anybody that doesn't want to get spoiled. And we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Take it away past me. Everybody likes it. Alright, alright. What's good, y'all? Soul here, and welcome back to my story mode. So, just to clarify. Yeah, we're, we're going to be talking about Metroid Prime Remastered, the most recent Metroid release, or I guess re-release, within this last week. Now, before we get too deep into things, I just wanted to give a little self-introduction here to anybody that might be new. Uh, hi, hello, what's going on? My name is Soul. I'm usually a Poketuber, as pronounced very heavily on my main channel, Soul Story Mode, where I talk about most things Pokemon-related, essentially. Any Pokemon games, anything with those... That's, that's all we talk about over there for now. But obviously, wanted to talk about some different things because I like lots of games and do a lot of different things, you know, in terms of games and anime. So I like doing these little podcast style discussions where we talk specifically about that. So kick back, relax, and let's start talking about why we needed Metroid Prime Remastered, right? <clears throat> so I just finished within, at the time of this recording, I just finished Metroid Prime Remastered, and I say just, but it was actually a couple of hours ago, but I, I finished that game today, right? And all I gotta say is, wow, right? Every time I finish a Metroid game, through the strife, through the heartache, through the frustration, I finish the game and I'm like, damn, no, I really went through that. That was worth the journey, <laughs> every single time without fail. Now. This is coming from somebody that's not good at Metroidvanias, right? Metroid, the Metroid series, Castlevania, most Metroidvania games, I'm not great at. I need a lot of help with those games because they require good memory, <laughs> right? And, you know, you could kind of say the same thing with Zelda, right? It, even though that's not a Metroidvania, but those, the original games in the series, like anything before Breath of the Wild was very heavily puzzle-based and memory-based and yada, 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 but not nearly as much as Metroid. And I'm not just talking about Prime, I'm talking the entirety of the series. They require good memory, a lot more backtracking, and very attentive gameplay at pretty much all times because every room that you go into there's some hidden mystery some secret some collectible or something that you need to progress right that is so easily missable there have been way too many times in which i didn't i, I wasn't able to progress without help simply because i didn't look behind one pillar it's so frustrating but my god <laughs> is it gratifying to find that that one thing that you were missing so, Metroid Prime is good. I enjoyed myself so much. And one thing that always, always gets to me is that this is something that I heard, and I'm talking off the top of my head here, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that the Metroid Prime series, I, I find this very ironic, by the way, the Metroid Prime series is apparently the spin-off series for Metroid. And that's so 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 weird to me right because this seems even more so than the the 2d games which is apparently the mainline series this seems more fitting for metroid style an fps style where you actually shoot the cannon yourself like you're using all the missiles and different abilities through the cannon yourself in an fps style game like with exploration and you know the, the 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 power to actually utilize Samus's abilities in the suit every time you get an upgrade. Not that you can't in the 2D games, but it feels more so like you're actually in there. You're actually in there when you're in those 3D environments in FP in, in Metroid Prime. Like it feels so different playing this as opposed to the 2D games. The, it, it, playing 
Metroid Prime Remastered makes the 2D games like Dread and everything else feel cramped. <laughs> it, it feels so cramped in comparison. And I, I can't get over that. Right? And I, I like the 2D. I've played most of them. Like I said, the only Metroid game that I haven't played, I believe, is Super Metroid 2. I looked up the lore on that one because I just didn't have access to it. So I just, I made sure to like read through the lore, make sure I understood the story before progressing on to the next game in that series. So, I just feel like <laughs> Prime is the most fitting format for this series. But, we need to talk about this game for a, a couple of reasons, right? We need to talk specifically about this game. The main topic here is why we needed Metroid Prime Remastered. Why did we need this game so badly? What am I, what am I, what am I getting at here, all right? Well, for one thing, and this is a very obvious one, is to just generally introduce more people into the Metroid series in the best possible way. Making one of the biggest Metroid games, one of the, the Metroid game that clearly helped inspire so much of what Samus is and what people know Samus as through Smash and Ridley and all of that. This game right here, this was necessary. Making it accessible and, you know, higher quality on the Switch, on the on the most modern console, oh, that was perfect. Great choice. I'm glad they finally did it, right? And I feel like a lot of people have been missing out on this series and those false reports that we've been getting for the past couple of years that we were getting the the trilogy in hd on the switch it was getting really old <laughs> like really old right so it's very nice to finally have something after all these years that newer players can get into that older players can finally revisit and something tangible from all those like what four or five years of rumors that the Met Metroid HD Prime Trilogy is coming to Switch alongside Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. Again, those two are a whole separate discussion, but they're just as important as the Metroid series right now that we're talking about. So it's good to have something tangible after years of insufferable rumors, right? Two. A lot of people need more introductions to the Metroid series in general, right? And starting with Metroid Dread is kind of weird, right? Metroid Dread is so late in the series and so like, it, it's, it does a good job of, you know, getting generally into the gameplay, like easing new players into the gameplay. It did a great job. It's one of the reasons why I was so in the Metroid. When I saw it for the first time, I'm like, no, that looks great. And so I went back and played all the games, but I'm a very special case. I'm a weird case when it comes to games. I gotta know everything before I get into a series because I, I, I wanna be able to call myself a fan of said series. I'm a fan of Metroid now. And, you know, I think that Metroid deserves more and much better. And I think we needed Prime to be able to introduce more people into something they're a little more used to, which is the FPS genre, right? And Metroid Prime does an incredible job of that. The exploration, the, the gameplay, it feels good to play as Samus in this game. It feels incredible to just move around. Like a, jumping like a maniac, shooting everything in sight, turning into a ball and just parkouring off everything under the sun it's awesome right anybody who wasn't into metroid <laughs> back in 2017 they saw that trailer for metroid prime 4 and they're just sitting here laughing right now because or at least they were for a while they were sitting there laughing because we didn't have it five to six years later but now anybody can play the first Metroid Prime game and fully come to understand why people are so intoxicated with this series, why they're so, why they want Metroid Prime 4 so bad, why that announcement was so exciting and why it's actually more of a problem than it seems to be as to why that game has been in development hell for as long as it has been. 
it's a good way to introduce people into the series so that when Metroid Prime 4 does come around, more people are already into it. You know, because it would have been extremely weird if all of a sudden four was here, but most people haven't even played the first three games in the series. So at the very least, we got Metroid Prime one in the most in the best possible way. It feels good. It looks good. And it's extremely accessible. Perfect. Perfect. Anybody could just hop on the Metroid Prime one and be like, oh, dang, I want more of this. So at the very least, maybe when remastered versions of two and three come around you know they're ready and hopping on that and then by the time metroid prime 4 comes around it's it's a wrap buddy it's a wrap up all right hey who knows I mean, they might shadow drop the next one on the next direct i'm just saying it's very it is very possible that they could be shadow dropping each of these games until all of a sudden metroid prime 4 next year early next year or late next summer or something just putting that out there and then you know just generally speaking the last thing that i believe you know why we needed metroid prime remastered is because i feel like the metroid series in general needs to be taken a lot more seriously and with much better care it's been taken care of okay so far you know it's been it's been pretty good so far with metroid dread making its huge debut and then you know uh, what a year or two later no it's been two years excuse me or at least almost two years it's it's still early but almost two years later we finally got a remaster for one of the biggest games in the series the biggest change up the biggest mix up in metroid at that point in time so I think that was very important and that, that it's very necessary to truly bring back Metroid in full, right? Because this is, personally, I believe that this is a series that should be standing up there right alongside Mario and Zelda when it comes to mainline releases of Nintendo IPs. It should definitely be up there, but I've noticed that you know, most people that own a Switch, they're either at least getting Mario, they're at least getting Zelda. Metroid, maybe, maybe not. Most likely not. And that's just unfortunate because I feel like Metroid has so much potential as so much of a bigger series for Nintendo that it's been squandered because of how it's been treated for so long. With Dread, great introduction. It got me into it. It got plenty of others into it. Awesome. With Metroid Prime R, it's an even better start. It's e or not even a start. It's an even better introduction, <clears throat> right? I heard somebody say a couple of months ago that this is supposed to be like Nintendo's horror series or something along that line. This is supposed to be Nintendo's more scary games and something along the lines of a more mature series when it comes to Nintendo because <clears throat> when it comes to Metroid, Metroid is the one series in which they don't hesitate when it comes to its storytelling. It can get very dark very fast. It usually is very dark, very fast. Hell, at the very beginning of Metroid Prime R, I meant to put a spoiler warning at the beginning of this, so I'll make sure to do that later. At the very beginning, you see Homeboy laid up uh, like a, a half-dead space pirate, and he's holding his gun, he's shooting at you, not doing too much. You just sidestep and <laughs> you put him out of his misery. That's dark as hell, right? <clears throat> There's so much lore on the Chozos and, you know, their civilization. There's so much lore on Samus and her upbringing just out there in the wild. I read the manga, by the way. The manga is so dark. Like, Jesus Christ, the manga is so dark. For, an, you know, again, for Nintendo. Like, that is a canon part of Samus' storyline. Oh my god, everybody needs to read that. If Especially if you like Metroid. So, just saying... I think I, 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 I essentially agree that Metroid should be up there with Mario and Zelda or Pokemon even when it comes to how big the IP in of itself should be. And I feel like Metroid Prime R is good, great example of that. It's it's that series. You know, I look at Nintendo and I feel like Metroid should easily be able to keep up with Halo. I don't know about like how, how anybody feels in terms of like multiplayer stuff. I mean, I, I guess we have Splatoon for that, but you know, I'm just saying. Metroid has so much untapped potential, it's ridiculous. And 
I love these games for that specific reason. It's there's great story, awesome. Samus is awesome because there's <laughs> there's not really a lot of other characters involved to be honest with you, but you know it's still dope as hell. It's still sick. So anyway, uh, I, I guess we could kind of look at this as my semi review of Metroid Prime R. It's good. More people should play it. It's awesome. I had a good time with it. If you're not good at Metroidvanias like me, don't hesitate in looking up a walkthrough. I needed one. Don't worry. It's not that serious. I need one with Majora's Mask. I needed one now. No shame. No shame. I finished the game. <laughs> it makes no difference to me. I still had an awesome time. And I'm going to leave it at that. So, there you have it. I feel like that's some of the reasons why we needed Metroid Prime R. But... I'll be handing over the mic to you guys now. What are you guys thinking over there? Do you guys agree in which Metroid Prime R was... I keep calling it Metroid Prime R. Metroid Prime Remastered was absolutely necessary. We needed this come back to form to really introduce new people before we eventually inevitably get to Metroid Prime 4. Or do you disagree? Metroid Prime Remastered was not necessary. We should have just had Metroid Prime 4 by now. This was a huge waste of time. Tell me everything that you guys are thinking in the comment section below because you know for a fact that I'm always, 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 always going to be down there with you guys. But with that... I'm going to go ahead and skedaddle on out of here. I'd like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment. And consider subscribing for more content just like this. And with that, I'm gonzo. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good ass care. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.